Hello, and welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I'm going to do a few palm trees, but I'd like to show you a different way of how I'm starting this painting. Um, I coated this uh, 16 by 20 canvas, wrapped canvas, with a blue acrylic top to represent the sky, and pink to represent um, some sandy area. Now, I know that um, many places don't have pink sand. Uh, however, I know in Bermuda they do. I've been there a few times. Um, what I have done is I have already put on some uh, medium to make the canvas a little slick because I'll be putting oil on top of it, okay? So I'm just gonna jump right in and I'll talk as I'm painting. So, First, I'm using a, um, a small scenery brush and a big one, any kind of this um, kind of a bristle brush is good. And I'm coming into some cerulean blue, okay? Now I have already, like I said, put this um, oil on the canvas so it's pretty slick. I'm just using a little bit of paint, okay? So it's not even gonna show that much, but it's going to give it a different, a different variation. It's gonna just kinda poke through a little here and there. And I'm just going side to side and rubbing some of this in. All right, and you can see the, the blue underneath showing through. As I get higher, I will go to um, a darker blue, an ultramarine. So for now, I'm just gonna be coming back up here, rubbing this back and forth, trying to smooth out, smooth out some of those brush lines. Again, you can notice I'm not covering the blue underneath, so that will be poking through a little bit. Give it a little bit of uh, visual interest, okay, instead of just plain blue. And I'm using just a little bit of oil paint. So this is a good way for you to use up your acrylics if you have acrylics. All right, smooth that out a little bit. Now, what I will do is I'm not even washing the brush or patting it dry or anything. Just coming in and getting some dark blue. This is the ultramarine. And starting at the top, I'm just very gently coming across. And I just wanted that sky a little darker on top. I'm going to be putting some clouds in. So I want to make sure it's a little bit darker so you can see that. Now it's pretty shiny. Okay, so I will stand back and make sure I have a little color on there. Yeah, but you can see that the blue from the uh, acrylic underneath is showing through. So all I did was put deposit some um, light and dark blue across the canvas, okay? Very easy. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm going to show you how to do some clouds. I've done clouds in uh, quite a few of my other shows, but just to show you how these clouds can be done right on top of the acrylic with the oil on top, and we can just go on the same way we did. So I'm just loading my fan brush, and we'll come and put some clouds in. I'm gonna be putting palm trees, I'm not really sure where they'll be showing, but I'll just put some in. I'm gonna make them a little, little wider. So I'm just squishing the corner of the brush and moving it up and down, just imagining the top of a cloud formation, okay? Using up whatever paint, you can see it's going a long way because there's paint underneath, and also the oil, which is making it really move nicely on the canvas. Coming in, getting some more paint. Come in here, put in another cloud. Just imagining that top of the cloud. As we come closer to the horizon, they'll get a little bit wispier, a little bit smaller, stringier. Okay, so just getting some white in there. Still, some of that blue is still poking through. I'll just wipe a little bit of this blue off, okay? I'm gonna come in with my white. I just wanna scruff here. You can see I'm just scruffing back and forth. I just wanna go and get this harsh line of the horizon out, all right? Because this will just be like a little sand, a little water. Like I said, this main lesson today is just for me to show you another way to do the palm trees, okay? I just want to get a little bit of a, a vision in there for you. Okay, so now that I have some of these uh, clouds on, I wiped my brush, I can just come in the bottom and just rub this around in circles. I'm just rubbing, just trying to anchor these clouds to the sky. Now, not all clouds have to be anchored to the sky. When you look at the sky, you see some clouds, they puffy. They look like they're sitting on top and not necessarily anchored into the sky. So either way is fine. I'm just going to show you how we can do this and you'll see the oil made it a little shiny. As the painting dries, it won't be shiny like that. 
All right, so here we go. I'm gonna step back a little bit and that looks pretty good. All right, I got some, some different values in there. It's, I picked up some of the blue underneath and that's what I like about it. There wasn't a lot of blue, so it enabled me to do this very easily because I really didn't put that much paint on the canvas. And like I said, that acrylic underneath was dry. So what I can do now is I can take a mop brush and I can just come in and I can soften these even a little more. Just soften the tops. So I'm just pulling up, pulling across, and this is not even a necessary step. It's just if you want your clouds to look uh, softer and further in the distance, then you can just come in and soften them with this mop brush, okay? And that would be it for the clouds. I like the way they look soft. So I may just soften this one back here and in the front because these clouds are smaller, representing them being more in the back. And these may be closer. So I'm going to soften these a little more and you'll really be able to see the difference between a softened cloud and a cloud that was not softened as much. You can see right here and right here. Okay, so let's move on to the palm trees. Palm trees can be done in a bunch of different ways, okay? Um, you can do them with uh, a straight brush. You can do them with a fan brush, a filbert brush. So I have this brand new brush today. Um, this is the uh, Wilson Bickford uh, large flat brush, okay? And you can see it still has the new, the new sticker on it I didn't get off yet. What I do want to tell you about brand new brushes is they come with a sizing in them, okay? It's like a starch material. So you always have to fluff them to get that sizing out of that brush, okay? This way it's soft enough to use. Because some people think, oh, something's wrong with the brush. It's so stuck together, but you just have to get that sizing out and you can wash it out if it doesn't come out easy. So I see this brush is nice and soft now so it's ready to use. So I'm just going to put in a, a couple of palm trees. We'll see how many we have time to do. Um, oh wait, first you know what? I'm sorry, I'm going to back up a second. I'm going to get some sand in there first. So let me put, the, put down my flat brush there. I'm just going to use this sienna, okay, and a little bit of this uh, this is uh, Van Dyke Brown, and maybe I'll put a touch of white in there. We'll see what kind of sandy color we get. Okay, so same thing. Since I scruffed up top there, I'm just going to scruff in on this pink. Some of this pink will show through. I will soften it because you can see some of that, uh, the lining is showing, and that's okay too. But I'm going to try to just uh, get a little bit of a sandy area in here. Okay, and I'm just kind of painting it around. We'll go right up into that white part. This way it looks like the sand is just going up there. Like I said, I just want to get these palm trees out here for you. So I'm not going to worry too much about the sand. But I just, I did want to show you how you can just come in and um, paint the bottom in pink. Come over just with a little bit of paint on top and there you have a nice, a nice representation of some sand. Now I'm just getting out some of my brush strokes here just by using the um, mop brush. I didn't even wash it. That's okay if there's a little blue, a little white. So the only thing I would do is make it a little darker on the bottom so I can give a little depth to the painting. A little darker on the bottom will show that maybe the, the rest is further away. So just coming in with just a little bit more paint. Again, not trying to paint it totally covered, okay? And I can just kind of roll this around a little bit and get some little areas of paint. All right, so hopefully that shows a little bit of perspective since I made it a little bit darker there. Okay, now we'll go on to the palm trees. Now, here is my uh, flat brush, okay? And I think I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of medium just to really, really loosen it up. So let me see if I can do this without putting down my palette. This might drip a little, so I'll just put a couple drips in the middle of my palette there and try to hold it up a little. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush there. So you'll see it dripping, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I just wanna show you, I'm putting a little bit on there, not much, all right? Now, I wanna do the trunks of the palm tree. So for the trunks, I'm going to come into the burnt sienna. And I'm just gonna dunk a little bit in this Van Dyke Brown, okay? And I, now I have two colors on that brush. All right, there we go. So I learned this uh, one stroke, this is a one stroke move here, uh, where you load the brush with two colors. And um, I learned to do this in acrylic and I just do it also in oil. It works great for both. Now, 
what I can do is I can either start at the top of the palm tree or the bottom. The bottom would be maybe a little wider than the top, but there's hundreds of kinds of palm trees. Some are wide all the way up, some are skinny all the way up, so it really doesn't matter. Just the sake that to get it to look like a palm tree. All right, so I'll start um, about here, and I'm gonna cover up some of my pretty clouds, but um, at least you got to see how I did those, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm making a U, okay? Now I'm gonna come along and I'm just gonna put this side back in the paint. I wanna make sure we can see a variation of color. And there's another U. Okay, I'm going to do a series of U's, all right? And I'm starting to get just a little bit bigger as I come down, okay? So you can see I did a series of U's. Now, this is a little bit transparent, which means I put a little bit too much oil on my brush, okay? So I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to make my paint thicker now. And I'm gonna really work that paint in, okay? When we work the paint in, we wanna work it into the brush, but we don't wanna come up here in the ferrule because that's how the brushes get ruined. So what I'll do is I'll start back up here again, and I will go over it again. And it's okay if it's not exactly in the same spot, I'm not worried about that. All right, I'm gonna come back, get a little more paint. Now, of course, when you're painting this, you'll take your time and you'll do it as neat as you want to. And there we go, okay? So this will be our first um, palm trunk, okay? Now, what I've done is I've used the same color in the sand as in the palm trunk, and that helps with the color harmony of the painting, all right? And the more I look at this, I like how this pink is showing through. It looks pretty. Now, I'm going back again to the Sienna and the Van Dyke, okay? I'm going to come over to this side. Now you may, uh, my hand may block it a little bit, so uh, hopefully the, my camera guys here can, can uh, get me coming from a different angle maybe, um, but I'll try to see if I can, maybe I could do it backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it backwards. All right, so here's my U, my U, okay. Now I'm picking up some of that color. So I'm gonna come back into my dark again and my light browns and I'll come back again. Okay, there we go. So this guy will be a little further down, all right? So now we have two palm trees. Now I'll come and put another one. So instead of doing one palm tree at a time, where I'm doing the top of the palm tree, then going doing the trunk, doing another palm tree, I'm doing all of the, um, the trunks, and then I'll go back and do all of the tops, okay? And this way I don't have to fuss around washing brushes and, you know, kind of makes it a little easier. So I think we'll put another one maybe over here. I don't want to do the same height. I want to do three, all right? So I'll put this one a little closer, and some of those palm fronds will uh, probably overlap, okay? So I'll try to hold it sideways. There we go. I'm picking up some color, seeing that sand. So I'll come back in here, get some more color on. And I like the idea that it's two colors and we're doing it just in the one pull of the brush, okay? I'll even make that one come down even wider at the bottom, okay? There we go. So we can come in here while we have this on the brush and we can just anchor it in a little bit, all right? Just so it looks like it's not like floating on top of the sand, but I can do that later with a fan brush also, okay? There we go. So I'm picking up some of that paint. So just the idea that we can get that in there. Now, the other thing we can do is we can come and we can put in some shadows, just so we have some shadows in the sand. Uh, maybe the, the sun may be sh shining that way, so who knows? Maybe the shadows will go one way and the other. Just the idea to get a little bit of shadow. So that's something we can we would be able to work on, you know, getting some shadows and some textures in that sand, okay? For now, I want to work on the palm fronds. So now I'm using um, a Wilson Bickford number six round brush, okay? And I'm just wetting it in that oil again. I'm coming into sap green. Now sap green is very, very green. So I may try to put a little brown in there. All right, and you can see I'm just gonna roll the brush. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make the veins to put the, pro the uh, fronds on, okay? I'm just going to come out of the um, trunk, all right? So there might be one. I'm, I almost don't wanna make it too big because I really like my cloud. <laughs> um, but I don't want it to look uh, you know, unnatural either. So 
There we go. I have to I have to go in my cloud there. Can't help that. All right. So this one I'll make even a little bigger since I don't have my my other big cloud in the way there. Again, just going back in the green, in the Van Dyke brown, just mixing it up using the tip of the brush. Uh, this is another brand new brush, has a nice, nice tip on it. One, two, three, four. I should do five. Okay. So maybe come down this way or six, I think might be better. All right. So maybe here and here. And this one is going to overlap. The fronds will overlap. And that's okay. All right. So I'm just a little tiny bit of oil. I have a lot of paint colors on here today. I might not be using them all. I'm going to bring this one up a little in a little bit of different shape there. Now, like I said, the palm trees are all kinds of shapes. Uh, sometimes the fronds kind of stick out. Sometimes they don't. Okay. So that's just the beginning. Now, we want to go ahead and put some fronds on there. All right. Now, you can do the palm fronds with the uh, fan brush. Okay. Or you can even do them with a straight brush. So let me show you now that I have my straight brush out. I'm just going to wipe some of this brown off. All right. I'll come into my green. And it's going to be a little brown green. That's okay. You can do it with a straight brush. It takes a lot longer and you need to practice a little bit more. So for a beginner, you may want to use the uh, fan brush, okay? But you can be brave and try this. I'm coming out in the direction that the, um, the vein is kind of going. Now, if I had a lot of time, okay, this is how I would do it. See how pretty the fronds come out? I'm just using the tip of the brush. I'm putting it to a chisel edge, which means I'm flattening. So it's nice chisel edge. All right. And I'm going down the way the frond is going. I mean, the, the vein of it. I, I th I'm not sure if it's called a vein, but that's what I'm calling it for now. <laughs> okay. So um, this is one way that you can do it. So I'm going to do another one. Okay. Now this, it comes out a little bit neater. It's a little bit harder, like I said. You have to hold it up and really just pull. You're not pulling your wrist. You're pulling your, you're just pulling your whole hand actually down. And I'm just following it along and filling it in. All right. Now the brush separated a little bit and that's good. That's okay. It looks nice. All right. I'll come back again and go in and you can see the direction. I'm aiming at the tip and look, I'm trying to pull it down. I'm pulling it down. Now I'm picking up some of that color from the background. That's okay. Okay. Here we go again, back in the green. Now it's nice and slick underneath because I have that oil that'll help. All right. See, I pushed a little harder there and I'm getting some, some fatter ones there. They're wider. All right. So maybe these are like sticking up. Now, if you ever see palm trees, a lot of times there's brown in them, there's yellow. A lot of times the uh, fronds kind of die and they get that kind of yellow gold color. All right. So you don't even have to worry so much about coloring with this. You can use whatever colors you like if you want to match something in your house. All right. So I just kind of filled that one in a little bit more. Made a little boo-boo, filled it in, but it ended up looking okay. Again, coming in here. All right. So this is how I would do this one. Then I will come back and put some other colors on top. All right. So that's one way to do the palm tree. I'll put that one down. Now I'm going to show you the other way with the fan brush. All right. So I, again, I'm taking the uh, sap green, a little bit of brown there, maybe a little more sap green. And I'm holding the brush the same way and I'm going to pull down towards the tip. But I'm going to hold the brush on the, uh, the vein itself, okay? And I'm pulling down, pulling down, okay? So I can pull down a little more and fill in a little more. So I will do this whole tree in this method. This way you can see both methods, okay? So with this, you have to push a little to make sure that you're filling in, all right? Breaking right through that uh, horizon there. I'm coming up. All right, pushing down onto that vein and up. So you can see the difference between them. Um, the other thing you could do is you can do this with the fan and then you can go over with the flat brush, all right? Just whatever you like. This, I will pull this way. And you can see I can kind of fill in. I can go right up to 
the, um, the top base there. You can come in and you can see I'm kind of going towards the direction, all right? Direction of the way that uh, that section is going. The, I'm not sure what it's called again, <laughs> the vein. All right, so you can see I'm getting a little dry there. All right, and back in my green again. And I could, again, a little bit of brown just to tone that, that green down. And here is another one here. I go, oh, got a lot of brown on that, that's okay. And I can go right over that trunk a little. Same thing over here. Now you see this, this tree I'm covering? That's okay because it'll look behind it. Once I get over there, I can, I can uh, you know, put those uh, fronds on and see what we get. There we go. All righty. And just kind of pulling them the way that's going, okay? So I'll just stand back and take a peek at that. So you can see the difference between them, all right? Now, I'll go back to my uh, flat brush again. Rather than put two of these uh, like trees together, I'll put that one. So again, coming down and I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. Then I'll show you how to come in and highlight it. Okay, and I had this extra one over here. So I'm just going to come in. You can see I'm aiming and aiming it, coming back. I'll get more paint. Again, just take a little tiny bit of brown. All right, and that was the Van Dyke brown that time. And I'm pushing a little harder, pushing a little harder. And then I'll step back. If I feel like I have to fill it in, I can certainly fill it in. Okay, again. All right, while I'm stepping back, taking a peek, I'm gonna come in here, I'm just gonna go right over it. If, I, if the color is the same, that's okay, because what I can do is I can break that color up by putting in some lights. Because I will come in now and, oh, sorry to see that pretty cloud go. There it is, right behind that palm tree. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I knew that was going to happen, but I still wanted to show you the, um, the, the, the frond, the clouds, I mean. You can't help that going over. And I'm picking up quite a bit of the white underneath. Okay, so I'll wipe my brush off and come back and get more green. And I'm just going to go right over this one. So that'll just look like it kind of went in between it, behind it, however it comes out like that just so you get this nice palm tree lesson in today. All right, if you have any questions, you can feel free to write to me. My information will be on in a little while after the show. All right, I'm gonna step back again, and they all seem like they're kind of uh, flopping around a little bit. I'm going to wipe off this brush just a little bit because if I put it in yellow, I'm gonna get a pale green. If I clean it out really well, then what will happen is um, I can get bright yellow, okay? So I'm just gonna come in here, get some yellow in there, maybe a little white, since it got kinda of green, really green. Okay, so you can see, I'm just using whatever I have here, making it whiter. May not make it quite this white um, usually, but I wanna make sure that it shows really well for you. So you can see how nice and smooth this paint is, okay? Because I did pick up a lot of that oil from underneath. Now, I can come onto this one and here and there, I can come in and I can just put some yellow in there. What'll happen is after a couple strokes of the bright yellow, uh, yellow white, I should say, it's going to pick up some of that green and we'll get nice variations. See how I swung that down? You wanna try to get that to be a natural move for you because in painting, you do that move a lot, okay? And after you practice, you'll be able to do it. I'm on the tip of the brush and I'm just kind of flicking it. You can see I'm kind of flicking, okay? So I'm not doing my wrist like this, just, it's just like a gentle movement, more with my, my whole hand, I guess you can say. All right, so now I put in a lot of yellow in there. That might be a little yellow. I got carried away, but I wanted to make sure I show you what I was doing, okay? So I'll just put a little bit more up here. I don't want to get carried away with it on the whole tree. All right, so I'm just kind of putting a little bit of yellow. Now, like I said, you can come in again. You can put some yellow ochre. I like the idea that that one is much, much different than these, all right? So what I'll come in and do now is I'm just going to put some yellow ochre in there because I want to separate these trees now, okay? Because this one's right on top, the greens are very much the same, all right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna come into this one 
and not put that bright yellow like I did, okay? I'm not real fond of that bright yellow, but that's okay. I'm going to put in this color, which is a yellow ochre with the yellow, because what I want now is I want to make these a little bit bigger and a little bit different. So this way we have three different palm trees. The same, uh, two are the same method, and one is a little bit different, because I use the different brushes, of course, okay? So here we go, just putting in a little bit of that yellow ochre. And yellow ochre, okay, coming down. You can see I'm turning, yellow ochre, and I'm a little bit blinded from this side, so I can't really see. I'm gonna have to step back again, okay? So now that tree in the back looks like it's in the background. And I'm just seeing this spot here I'm not too thrilled about. So you know what? I'll just come in and kind of add a little more, fluff that out a little bit. Okay, so see, I can kind of work on that a little bit still. All right, now what I might do is just come in now to this other tree and using the fan brush in some of that light color. It's just going to be a light green. Since I had all that green in there, I won't be able to actually make it yellow unless I wash it out, which I'm not going to do. So here we go. So I can come in here and just put a little bit of this just to show a little bit of a different color. Oh, can't even see that at all. So let me go in here and I wanna show you what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So now you can see what I did. I changed that color just a little bit. Okay, so now we have three different palm trees done two different ways. You can come in, you can put more colors down at the bottom. You can put some rocks, you can represent some sand. Uh, there's so much that you can do. Wilson, Wilson Bickford just did a PBS show where he did some wonderful um, palm trees and he came and he put a hammock in there. So that's, that's a wonderful show to watch. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just dipping my, um, my fan in some of this uh, thinner. I had a little bit of thinner. And I'm not going to pick it up, but I'm just mixing it up a little bit in my browns. Okay, and I'm making some thin paint here. I just want to show you what we can do. We can just come in here and I'm just flicking a little bit down here just to show maybe some pebbles or gravel or something, just to give it a little bit more interest, okay? So that's something that, that you can do. We, can, we could work on the shadows. There is a lot more we can do. We can put little wave movements back here. Okay, just to show you a simple, simple way. So really the hardest part of this painting is to get those angles of the fronds, okay, coming this way. If you make your veins first, okay, in the direction that looks nice, that's the best way that, to do that, okay? I think that's the easiest for beginners because then if you don't like it right from the start, you can always change those directions just in case. And remember, when you're pulling your fronds, come right down towards the tip. All right. Now, not saying that all trees are like that, but um, it just it makes for a pretty painting. OK, so I would throw a couple birds in here and I would be done with this. So I'd like to thank you for tuning in and come find me and write to me. And um, I hope you'll come back again and see more of my shows. Thank you.